Okay. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they beat you unconscious. Yep. Okay. Um. Is that a fight I'm supposed to win? Fuck. Do I use the dynamite? Let's let's just should we use the should we use this? Let's just try and use my beans. Go magic bean! Yeah. Oh, he missed. Well, that works. And should we just like use the dynamite? Like fuck it, go. Okay, that was a potential waste, but sure. And then should we just punch him? Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay, that went better, right? Is this fight winnable, or am I just being dumb for, for trying? Fine. Um, oh, I don't have the dynamite anymore. I've used the dynamite up. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay, this is bad. And then he shoots me. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to do this, especially now that I've I've used up and lost my dynamite. Fuck. Although I can get more dynamite because I can just hand in needles, can't I? And I've got a couple of them. So, these locations are where the horses are, I'm guessing. Should we go to this one? This seemed like... I think someone else mentioned this place, didn't they? Cool. He wasn't kidding. Not that, this, <laughs> not that this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. Cool. Jump for joy. Hooray! I got the shovel. How do I use the shovel, I wonder? Oh, another mug. Fuck yeah. Got another recovered mug. How do I use the shovel? Got a couple of needles, which is nice. Oh, cool. Provides an option to dig in certain places. Okay. I wonder if it... Oh, dear. I was going to say, I wonder if it's obvious. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Making some progress. Um, I might come back and try those guys later on with, like, more dynamite. And, like, maybe me knowing more about the game. Unrefined meat nugget, sure. And there's some TNT here. At least there's no plunger. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Level 1 blasting cap storage. Plungers, both kinds, tools. Let's start with level 1. So, here we go. Oh, I see. So, rather than me going down, it brings stuff up from that floor, I guess. Alright. That's weird. So it brings stuff up from that floor or whatever. How bizarre. Oh, plungers. Sure. I've got a plunger. And, oh, what's this? Oh, yes, I can pick the lock. <gasps> got a crowbar. Yes. Which means I can now go to blasting cap storage. And grab one of these. Yeah, cool. So now I guess I do this. Okay, fighting against your instincts for self-preservation, you've hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. Okay. You press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasting cap. Okay. There we go. What did I just say? This looks dangerous. Yeah, well, fuck it. Kaboom! Fuck yeah, let's go! Holy shit, we found one of the horses! Hello! Oh, there. careful there! Hey there, girl! It's okay, I'm a friend! Winnie! The horse shies away from you, though in this case it's more of a crippling in introvert's it's away from you, okay. Oh, come on, don't be like that! Look, I brought some oats for you! They aren't poison or anything! Ellipsis. In, ret in retrospect, that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Um, pat her on the nose. As you reach out to pat her on the nose, the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Oh, come on. Nay. You take out a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go. Yum yum. Snort. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprising good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please. Look, they're fine, okay? See? Om nom nom nom. You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh. 
It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. <laughs> you smile to show the horse that you're fine, and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out of the door. Jeez, these are powerful. Oh yeah, because they're homing stuff, aren't they? The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. Patron the nose. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly at, as you pat her nose, but she doesn't actually flee. So that's something. There's a good girl. Winnie? The horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so that you offer a handful of oats. Warily, <laughs> warily, but grudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but you don't see anything when you turn back. She's gone! Well, okay then. Okay, should we dig in this? Yeah, got some meat. Cool. I can dig this too, silver nugget. I saw more of them before, didn't I? Like, random things on the ground. I need to make sure I dig them. Okay, I think I've done this bit now. I've got the shovel. And I've learnt stuff. Cool, let's go. Alright, let's go back to the Town of Boring Springs. And let's double check for more stuff on the ground to dig. I swear there was some more. And I've got some more, I've got some more bottles I can hand in. Uh, is there any more stuff to... I don't think so. What did I get? A uh, bag of homing oats, cufflinks, bar... Oh yeah, bar soap, that's right. I knew I came in for a reason. Let's dig this. Got another mug, fuck yeah. Right, Trady McTraderson, I've got a bar of soap for whatever it is you were going to give me. Uh, I'll trade the soap for a lock. Uh... I can ask for some free dynamite. It requires dickering. I guess I can't do need a needle for dynamite anymore. Fuck. God dang it. I need, I need to learn some dickering. And um, I can hand those bottles in. Fucking. Oh cool, you can shovel the shit. It's nasty work, but someone's got to do it. Gumption level 2. Fuck yeah. Oh cool, so I can just shovel the shit. I literally can shovel shit. Means I'll stop walking in it. I mean, obviously I walk in it when I shovel it, but still, fuck yeah. Okay, let's uh, hand those those glasses in to the barkeep. Much obliged. You tip your head to the bartender. Uh, take my leave. Cool. All right, so I've got some other places to go to get some more horses. Okay, onwards. Should we try the other horse place? I mean, there's that, and there's. Let's go to the to the graveyard. Boring Springs Boneyard. Okay. Oh, got another mug here. What's this? What, wait, let's read the graves. They're going to be jokes, aren't they? Our founder, uh, Zef Zephaniah Boring. He was actually a really interesting guy. Fair enough. I'll grab this. Uh, Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. Uh, oh, oh, hang on a second here. Beauregard Skelton, captain of the third cavalry. Dig up grave and fight. Uh, maybe in a second. Oh. Okay, let's... Oh, oh. Let's fight this. We got the jump on him this time. Okay, let's use my Beanomancy or whatever. Take this bean power! Ow. And I can't use it again, apparently. I guess I need more AP. Uh... Should we, should we shoot him? Take this. Ow. I should have used shield, maybe. Take this. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, cock. I wouldn't feel too bad about that. He was a captain, after all, and you aren't even a private. At least it's cool, unless you go try again. Okay. Alright, let's bean shield. Give me a full armor, right? And then I'll start shooting. Yeah, only three hit points this time, although I think I'll win over time. Cool, that's how you do it. Like, I'll eventually kill him. I can't survive hits without armor. Yeah! I am learning! Fuck yeah! Cool! 
Yeehaw! Skill up. Muscle level 2. You got an item. Old cavalry saber. And I got a gold tooth. Sweet! Cool. So should I use like the new stuff I've got? Like, can I put that there instead of... Can I see how much damage it does? 5 to 6 damage. 5 to 6 damage. Okay, I, well, I think I've got what is... What I've got is, is just as good, I guess. Let's go see what this guy needs. You right there, sir? You look stuck. A skeleton! You're not getting past it without a scuffle. Uh, scuffle it is. Okay, at least I'm back at the full life. Okay, let's do the same thing as before. So, Beanomancy. Get a bit of a bean shield going up. And then we'll shoot it. Take this, skeleton! Oh, that was, that was pitiful. Take this! Victory! Yeah! Awesome! Okay. Oh! It's a ghostly, ghostly horse. So yeah, I guess that's what they're saying. They all wanted to be like in their thematically appropriate environments. Let's approach the horsey. You approach the weird um, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her. Though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? Nay. That, that's a ghostly neigh, by the way. That's a little strange. How do you do that with opening your mouth? Uh, pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you'd want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Uh, pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Ugh. Okay, let's feed her some oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse. But she just sort of stares right through you. Brr. Please don't look at me like that, snort. Uh... Try the oats again. You hold out the oats again, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Uh, grave dirt? Whitney! Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. I'll add some uh, grave dirt to it then. You sprinkle the oats with a bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. Nay! And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Bizarre. That's two horses, holy shit. Okay. And there's, a, there's some graves here that I probably should read, because they might be important, so... <laughs> that guy wouldn't stay put. And that's the cavalry guy that I killed. Because some of these might be important to know. Timothy Cochrane, devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochrane, beloved daughter. And Silas Cochrane, a baby. Oh, that's sad. And then there's some thorns. Okay. So that's it for this place, I guess. I'm really liking this, by the way. I, I could do this as a regular stream. Okay, so I guess it's time for the uh, Thousand Snakes Gulch. Okay, so... Well, there's one snake, guys. So I guess there's 99 others. What? Oh, that looks pointy. Uh, these rocks look really shiny. Got a shiny rock. Heck yeah, these cactuses probably, uh, can I just avoid, the ooh, I can't avoid the snake. The snakes look sleepy, but not that sleepy. I guess I've got to fight a snake. Okay, bean shield. Bean shield. And then I'll shoot it, I guess. Probably should switch to weapon at some point. Oh, seven hit points, fuck yeah. Ow. So I'm wondering, like, the stat points I'm getting when I level up, are they random, or are they based on what I've used? Or are they set? Like, will I always get the same points? Take that snake. I don't know. You have slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murder and Hayek. You gain 3 XP. Yeehaw! Skill up. Glamour level 2. Of course, I, I guess eventually I'll be able to get those um, other skill points I need to do other stuff, like try and persuade people and barter. Maybe I'll learn a bit of dickering. Okay, hey snake. Let's go. Bean shield. Whoop! And then shoot it. Take this. Oh, so it's a stronger snake. Uh, okay, that's fine. My bean shield is still there. Oh, I've been poisoned. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I can, I can kill it next time, I guess. Oh. And then... Boom. Heck yeah, you made short work of that snake. I'm doing pretty well. But I hope that once I've done all these areas, I can go back and beat those cowboys. I'll be a higher level for for one thing. Oh, oh dang it. Fucking cactus. Ow. Crap. Ow. But hopefully I'll be able to beat those two cowboys after I've done this. This snake 
This snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. Oh god. These jerks are quick. He just started off... Jesus, okay. I'm poisoned. Okay, bean shield. And then shoot it a lot. But my item I got no items I can use in combat, so maybe I need to go back and get more dynamite, but I can't get more dynamite because the needles that I own can't be traded for dynamite apparently. But I think yeah I'm okay. It looks like he's no harder than the other snakes. So I guess I didn't need every trick in the book. Unless you were able to beat those other snakes without using bean shield. Boom. So what is up with that? I can only use one spell per fight, or...? I don't know. So that's three snakes down, just like 997 left to go. Nice work! If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you could always get a job as a snake exterminator. 9 XP! Yeehaw! Skill up! Grit level 2. Yep. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, that's not a snake, that's a horse. I think that's the last horse, isn't it? This horse has gone snake crazy. Or maybe he's some other kind of crazy. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out at me. Uh, look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. The other is revolving madly in its socket, like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now. Uh, okay, so, he looks to be coming down a little now that it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders. He thought I was made of spiders? Pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But it seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever. Jesus, he's got some sort of madness bouncing around his skull. That's a good boy. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snap. You feed the crazy horse some homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a... Hopefully he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. Cool, I think that's all the horses. And, yikes, I, I stood in something. Or, fucking cactuses. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit M or click... Okay, 